What's up guys? Welcome back to Geekly Goods. My name is Stu and you know it, you love it. It's time for another Stu view. And what is it this time? Oh, guess what? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? This time, look, we're, we're talking about the Mr. Rogers movie, which I think no one's gonna actually remember the name of this movie. They're just gonna call it the Mr. Rogers movie. And I'm like, I'm fine with that. It's great. Uh, so, you know, directed by Mariel Heller, a little bit of an indie director, uh, starring Tom Hanks, Matthew Reese. Uh, great cast. Honestly, it's, um, I was gonna tell you right off the bat, this is a fantastic movie. And, uh, not in the way that a lot of other movies we've been reviewing, you know, like, wow, this is an artistic, like, breakthrough or the most fun action movie you've ever had. Like, no, this is really a movie that brings you back to childhood. And I don't want to say it's a childish movie and it doesn't dwell on childish themes, but it really kind of breaks you down as a viewer and builds you back up. And I have to say it's very similar to how Mr. Rogers would do that on a daily basis. Uh, he talks to you slowly, he makes you understand things that are hard to understand, and makes you deal with things that are hard to deal with. And I have to just compliment Tom Hanks, first and foremost. He really took a tough subject matter with a beloved icon and hero, and he, you know, brought it to life again. I mean, we all mourned the passing of Fred Rogers a few years ago, and it's cool to see a breath of life brought back to him. Uh, I will say Matthew Reese does a fantastic job. This guy nails the highs and the lows. You know him from the Americans, and obviously he's it's a great deep portrayal in that show, but he really brings it to the forefront again in uh, A Beautiful Neighborhood. So you've got these great competing almost actors that are coming from very different ends of the spectrum. And some of you may have guessed from the trailers that this isn't the classic biopic. Uh, this doesn't start at the beginning of Mr. Rogers' life and span all the way to his death, which is so nice. Mariel uh, Heller, the director, and I believe the writer as well, she really stepped outside of the box and thought about a new way to portray such a wonderful figure. Uh, and you can't, it's hard to put your finger on it, but you walk away really feeling uplifted, positive. Everything about it comes out in a, a good way. One thing I do wanna say is that it's, again, this is not a classic biopic. It's more of a slice in time. Now, I don't wanna give it all away or, or talk to the specifics, but it's all based around a true story. And when I say that, I don't mean it's just based around Mr. Rogers' true story. Matthew Reese is also based around a real character and a real person. And their interaction is actually a real relationship. So you have a lot of really cool uh, source material to kind of draw on and say, like, how was this? How did they actually interact? You have taped interviews, all these sorts of things. So they really are able to dive deep and, and know what's actually going on. In that, it felt very true to life. Um, now, there's one thing, I don't, it's not a spoiler, it's just a really amazing detail that Mariel Heller decided to do. Um, I think we can all remember back to the original show where the, especially in the intro, they had kind of a, a miniature set of a neighborhood and a city and you kind of go around the neighborhood and, and you end on a slow zoom of Mr. Rogers' house. Now, something that Mary Heller did for this movie, she decided to do that for every transition in, in scenes. So you're going to New York City and you're seeing a miniature version of New York City. Uh, and it kind of does that same intro that the show does. Same thing if you're going to the suburbs of Pittsburgh. You see a slow zoom in there on another, a different neighborhood. Um, and what I have to say is that it kind of, it makes the whole movie feel like an, a giant episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's beautiful. You really take a step back 
and you think about what you're actually wanting in life and what you're what people matter to you and what people have brought you joy and brought you to where you are today and even people who haven't brought you joy and how they've impacted you and how they brought you to where you are today. Just to be real, I was on the verge of tears the entire movie and to be honest, I, I cried a few times as well and that's pretty rare for me. I, I, I'm not usually emotional with these kinds of movies, but something about it just struck a nerve and, and I couldn't, you just can't help but relate and go there. For a movie like this to, to be able to take you there and to emotionally go there and feel vulnerable and feel, you know, what Mr. Rogers actually wanted you to feel, which is true to yourself, speaking your truth, knowing what people uh, are, forgiving them for things that they don't want to be, dealing with feelings, bringing those feelings out, not hiding, not suppressing. It's, uh, it's a rare thing in cinema to be able to do something like this. Kudos, honestly, to the whole cast and crew, to Tom Hanks, Matthew Reese. You've achieved something that is rare, very rare. On to the awards consideration, because let's be real, as soon as this came out, everyone was like, Tom Hanks Oscar, Tom Hanks Oscar. Now he might get the nomination and he might win, but it's probably not gonna be for leading male, which is surprising, right? Like a movie about Mr. Rogers, you would think Mr. Rogers is the lead role. I don't think so. He's kind of a supporting role in this movie, which is strange, and it takes you by surprise when you're watching it. Now that being said, he's definitely getting a nomination. Um, I also think Best Original Screenplay is certainly in the works here. Uh, or at least best adapted. I don't know how closely they used uh, the interviews and all those sorts of things. So this is going to come around in Oscar season once again. Uh, Matthew Reese, man, he's probably not going to get a nomination, but he should. Uh, he gives a powerful, powerful performance. And it's so real. It's so grounded that you forget you're watching a movie sometimes. Uh, I just have to say, phenomenal job overall. There is no weak point to it. What I think is important is that this is a movie that Mr. Rogers would have wanted to see. And I think he would have wanted to see this about himself. Uh, and I think when you go watch it, which I think everyone should, and I think it's gonna be very successful, I think there's a discussion to be had about fame, celebrity, and forgiveness. And I really think that this means a lot to all of those sorts of categories. So when you go in there, be mindful, think about good things, come out in a positive way. And now on to my out of 10, uh, we gotta, gotta score it, always have to. Um, is this a perfect movie? No, no it's not. Are there perfect movies? Ugh, I don't know, they're, they're few and far between. Uh, this is a very, very, very good movie. It's beautiful, it makes you feel, and honestly, it's something I think the world really needs right now. I, I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, which, you know, it just brought such an emotional response. And even a day after, and I imagine a week after, I learned something from this movie and I think I'm gonna change a little bit of my life because of this movie. And that doesn't happen very often. You can't say that with Avengers Endgame, although, I tried the superhero thing, it didn't work out. So I had to say nine out of 10, it's beautiful. Go see it, support this movie, like please. This is something that you need to see. And I, bring your kids, bring your family, bring your friends, enjoy it together. Uh, it's, it's a great experience. Um, so that's it for uh, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Um, this is Stu for Stu View signing off. Catch us again on Geekly Goods, and be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I want to know what you guys feel about this movie. Hopefully you had the same reaction I did, but uh, if not, we'd love to hear it. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow Geekly Goods on all social media platforms, and grab something from our store. We take $1 of every purchase and donate it to arts education to keep arts in the classrooms. We'll see you next time.